Hello everyone, I'm going to be reviewing The Adam Project. The Adam Project is directed by Sean Levy, written by Jonathan Trooper, uh, T.S. Nolan, Jennifer Flackett, Mark Levin, produced by David Allison, Dana Goldberg, Don Granger, Sean Levy, and Ryan Reynolds, starring Ryan Reynolds, Mark Ruffalo, Jennifer Garner, Walker Scoble, Catherine Keener, and Zoe Saldana. It's a cinematography from Tobias Schlenzler, uh, edited by Dean Zimmerman and Jonathan Korn. Music by Rob uh, Simonson, production companies from Skydance Media, Maximum Effort, and 21 Laps Entertainment. Distributed by Netflix, released March 11th, 2022, ran for 106 minutes. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to spoil this film, so I'm just going to read off the synopsis of Letterbox. Um, so the synopsis for The Adam Project is, if it loads, it's going to take a while, there we go. So, after accidentally crash landing in 2022, time traveling fighter pilot Adam Reed teams up with his 12 year old self on a mission to save the future. That sounds sick. And yes, I'll tell you my opinion soon. Cast Ryan Reynolds as Adam Reed, Mark Ruffalo as Lois Reed's uh, Adam's father, Jennifer Garner as Ali Reed, Catherine Keener as Maya Soren, and Zoe Saldana as Laura, Adam's wife. And, um, right, Walker Scoble is a young Adam Reed, uh, the 12 year old. He was, yeah, a 12 year old. And then Alex Mullary Jr. is Christos. Uh, production The Project, a big script written by T.S. Nolan, was initially announced as Our Name is Adam. In October 2012, Paramount Pictures became interested in acquiring the film, uh, as Tom Cruise was attached to start. Yeah, this started way back in 2012. Uh, yeah, so 10 years. The film was received in July 2020 when it was moved to Netflix with Sean Levy as director and Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds set to star after previously collaborating on Free Guy from 2021. While the latest draft of the script was being written by Jonathan Trooper from the previous drafts for, uh, by Nolan, uh, Jennifer Fleckett and Mark Levin, in November, in November, Jennifer Garner, Zoe Saldana, Mark Ruffalo, Catherine Keener and Alex Malari Jr. and Walker Scoble were added to the cast. Filming commenced in November 2020 in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Filming officially wrapped in March 2021. Rob Simonson composed the score and track from the film titled The Adam Project was released as a single on March 3rd, 2022. Uh, reception on review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes 70% of the 70% uh, of 136 critics Reviews are positive, so there was a score, with an average rating of 6.3 out of 10. The website's consensus reads, You've seen Ryan Reynolds do this sort of thing before, but the Adam Project offers slickly entertaining and occasionally even, even moving sci-fi action. Metacritic, which uses a weighted average, assigned a score uh, of 54 out of 100 based on 47 critics, indicating most or average reviews. Now let's get into my thoughts for The Adam Project. This film is a great movie. I loved The Adam Project. Um, probably one of the most surprising films of the year so far. Did not know that I was going to enjoy this film this much. I knew it was going to be I knew it was going to be a good time. I didn't know that it was going to get it great. But it's a great movie. If you have not seen this movie, definitely check this movie out. Ryan Reynolds and uh, Walker Scoble did a great job as both Adam Reed. Mark Ruffalo is... Adam Reed's father loved Mark Ruffalo. He didn't really have much screen time. Again, with Zoe Saldana, she didn't really have enough screen time. She was like uh, Ryan Reynolds' wife, I'm pretty sure. Um, Jennifer Garner, she was probably the standout for me. She, she, wow. Uh, there was a scene in the movie that just really hit and of how good her acting was. Like, she was great in this movie. And the movie overall, Definitely check it out. It's on Netflix. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. It was such a fun movie. I loved it, especially. And yeah, definitely check it out. It was such a fun time. And that's what I was here for. And yeah, I enjoyed it. It was a fun time. And yeah. For my score for the Adam Project, I'm going to be giving it 4 out of 5 star uh, stars. Percentage, I'm going to be giving it an 86%. Grant, I'm going to be giving it a B plus. And out of 10, I'm going to be giving it an 8.6 out of 10. Yes, I think this is actually in my top 10 favorite movies of 2022 so far. Probably going to get pushed out, but that's okay. 
I still love this film. And that is it. Hope you enjoyed my review for the Adam Project. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, the Big Dog. Thank you for watching. Take care. Peace.